Discover the exquisite beauty of Islam with our exclusive poster collection showcasing the 99 names of Allah. Each poster meticulously presents the Arabic name, pronunciation and English translation, embodying the essence of our Creator. Elevate your surroundings with these high-quality designs that not only serve as art, but also offer a glimpse into the profound beauty of Islamic culture. Immerse yourself in the collection and unveil the magnificence of the 99 names. Links in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, this video went viral on social media. It is called Ex-Terrorist confirms mass visions of Jesus in Gaza. He says thousands of Muslims will come to Christ. So if this is not a clickbaity title, I don't know what is, but hey, maybe I'm wrong and I'm gonna get disproved. Maybe it is true after all that Jesus appears to thousands of Muslims in Gaza. Yeah, sure. Guys, before we start the video, if you enjoy my content, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box below to further support. And now, with no further ado, let's have a look. Welcome back. A former sharpshooter and aide to Yasser Arafat believes revival will break out in Gaza after the end of the war there. Appearing on this week's edition of the Global Lane, Tas Sada says God's Holy Spirit is already changing Palestinian hearts through dreams and visions. What kind of nonsensical statement is this here? Once the war ends, what does that even mean? Once Israel gets the upper hand again, once everybody in Gaza has been bombed, then you will see a revival of the Holy Spirit. What are you talking about? Many Muslims are looking for an alternative to Islam. Who is that supposed to be? And uh, so naturally my team are always uh, promoting uh, Christianity and uh, their life whenever it's safe. And so we are looking at a, a, a good revival going on already in the Gaza Strip due to what has happened really. Yeah, so right off the bat you see a Christian missionary here trying to actively spread Christianity within Gaza. How do they do that? If we look into countries such as Indonesia, for example, we see that Christian missionaries come into very poor places with a bunch of money. They're promising them to build schools if they revert, for example. They're promising them money, they're promising them food, shelter, etc. if they revert to Christianity. And therefore you can bet that this guy here is capitalizing on the circumstances of the poor people in Gaza, offering them Christianity as the solution. Uh, despite of the destruction that is taking place, I believe God have a purpose to uh, to get the the Palestinians in Gaza uh, wake up and and uh, okay. look at a different alternative to uh, to what they believe. Yeah, so this must be the biggest propaganda piece that I've seen in a while over here. Is it due to their wrong belief? This is why there is war. What is he talking about? He is capitalizing, as I said, on the situation of those poor people and he's offering Christianity as the solution for their problems. And then he outrageously claims that God has a purpose, ultimately, of leading those people to Christianity. Why would he? God, one God, would lead people away from the worship of one God alone and instead tell them, listen guys, you've been doing it wrong all the time, even though your prophets such as Abraham or Moses or Noah, they did it the same way. No, 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 no. Do it like the Romans, do it like the Byzantines and worship three in one. Worship the Father, worship the Son and worship the Holy Spirit. Only like that your war will come to an end. The war is it's continuing. Our hearts turning. What do you see I happening? So. I just got a report from one of my team members uh, that uh, about 200 Gazans gave their heart to Jesus in one lump sum because uh, the Lord appeared to them in, uh, in visions and dreams 
I'm sure. And they, they were so as I already said, this is the biggest clickbaity title ever, probably, because it states thousands of Muslims will come to Christ. And meanwhile, allegedly, 200 Muslims became Christians, again, allegedly, after having a vision. The Lord appeared. Yeah, yeah. Well, hugging sure, each other sure. and, and, and uh, you know, rejoicing and realize that all of them had the same vision that uh, each one of them had. And so, obviously, What? the Lord is doing his work, and uh, the believers around also in, in the land are, are doing their work. Well, looking forward then again, uh, <laughs> well, Jordan, Qatar, okay. Saudi Arabia. This is absolutely laughable, of course, because even if you look into the Christian doctrine, you will find that no man has ever seen the Father right, i.e. God. But of course, they play all of those little mind games and will tell you, but therefore we can see the sun. Jesus, on the other hand, taught you that God is spirit, meaning he is immaterial, something that nobody can perceive. And moreover, Lord Jesus says in your Bible, no one has ever seen God. God. This is how it is written within your own Bible. Nobody has ever seen God. Jesus declares that to you Christians. But now all of a sudden, God appeared to the Muslims. Yay! Hallelujah! It is nonsensical and it's not based upon Scripture. Only God knows what those people saw. However, it is impossible to see God with our own eyes. He is imperceivable, he is metaphysical, he is non-physical, he is a spirit. So therefore, a Muslim that saw Jesus, hey, fantastic, then he had a vision of Prophet Jesus, but surely not of God. Any Muslim, any true Muslim would know that, and any Christian that really read his Bible would know that as well. Israel. And, and just leave it at that. As you know, our viewers are praying for the peace of Jerusalem and an end to this war. So what else should they be praying right now and how can they help? Pray for Israel and the Palestinian people to see the, the, uh, to see the vision of what is better for them. Mm, fantastic. Uh, if I look You're at scumbag. it as a Palestinian <laughs> myself, Uh, the Arabs have not done that much for me, mm. to be honest about it. Israel have, uh, you know, uh, looking at what Okay, Israel I don't want to watch this anymore. All right, guys, this is it for today's video. I'm going to cut it off here because otherwise I'm going to lose my mind looking at the snake, listening to this absolutely pathetic excuse of a man. But at the same breath, I have to say that this is what a Christian apologist is. This is truly how they are. All of those Christian missionaries side with Israel every single time. This is why you can see who is standing with the good and who is standing with the evil. Ultimately, your own scripture, Jesus says, you will know them by their fruits. This is you. Pray for Israel. Israel woman, I love you so much. I want to marry Israel woman in life. And pray for the Palestinian people to see the vision, to see the vision of Christ, right? So let's pray for Israel so Israel stays exactly the way that it is. Let's forget about the two-state solution and let's just hope that all of those damn Muslims finally become Christians. Yeah, that would be great because Christians are not oppressed within Israel whatsoever, right? absolutely ridiculous. Israel is discriminating against Christians and Muslims alike. It is an ethnostate, it is an occupation, an illegal occupation, by the way. And this shaitan here has no better thing to do than to lead the people astray from pure monotheism into polytheism and into further suppression under Israel. Well done, Christian apologetics. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box below to further support. And now, as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.